look at what the hotel sent us. Are you as appalled as I am? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Forget appalled. I'm shocked. This is so unfair. You don't get it, do you? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> it's our room confirmation for Valentine's Day. Just, just re read the part I highlighted. Junior suite, partial ocean view. Partial. I reserved a full ocean view. Well, damn it. Tell them to get the hose and fill that ocean. You make fun, but trust me, a partial ocean view isn't nearly as romantic. Well, not if we're having sex and you're complaining that you can't see the ocean. So then we're agreed. Yes, this is Greg Montgomery. I have a reservation for a full ocean view room, but your confirmation letter says partial ocean view. Yes, I'll pull. Don't make him cry, honey. <laughs> yes. W well, since it was your mistake, I think an apology would be in order. Oh, he's going to cry just like that woman from the gas company. <laughs> apology accepted. Full ocean, terrific. And, and what's your name? Well, uh, Jeffrey, I hate to tell you you're running a sloppy operation, but uh, I also noticed you don't have my credit card number. Yes, 3727. Uh, can you hold on a sec? Hello? Uh, yes, she is. Who may I say is calling? Um, say again. Uh, uh, hold, please. Uh, Jeffrey, uh, I have to call you back. Uh, Bob Dylan's on the other line. <laughs> Why would I make that up? <laughs> uh, Bob Dylan, I, I have Dharma for you. I'm her husband, Greg. Hey, Roberto, how's it blowing? Uh huh. Well, that depends. Who made that decision, Bob's heart or Bob's head? How do you know Bob Dylan? Didn't I tell you? No. Bob, hang on a second. Okay. okay, remember when I was playing drums in that garage band? D and... No, no, talk to Bob Dylan. Could you get the door, honey? Yeah. So, sure. Hi. Sorry, Bob. Go on. Oh, no, that's fine. I'm happy to talk to any of your friends. I mean, as long as they understand that I only offer suggestions, they're the ones that change their lives. No, you're so cool. No, you're so cool. <laughs> Dharma, Lyle Lovett's here. Tell her Bob sent me. I've been having a hard time lately regarding some personal matters, and Bob said if I was ever in San Francisco, your wife was the person to talk to you. What? Hi, Lyle. I'm Dharma. Hi. Hi. I know I should have called. I hope this isn't a bad time. Well, my husband and I were just leaving for the weekend. Uh, Dharma, Dharma, okay. Uh, wait, uh, okay, could you excuse us for a moment, Mr. Lovett? Call me Lyle. Lyle. <laughs> Lyle Lovett. <laughs> Be right back. Make yourself at home. Lyle. <laughs> Look, I have no idea what's going on here, but do you really think that leaving now is the, the right thing to do? Well, we have plans, and he did show up unannounced. I mean, it's a little rock star rude, don't you think? <laughs> you hear you. Come on, Lyle Lovett's in there. He's all screwed up, and he needs your help. Come on, how great is that? Well, I can talk to him on Monday. Well, what if he's all better by Monday? Well, then I guess one of us will be happy for him. You can't take that chance. Why don't I just call the hotel and tell him we're running a little bit late? Okay. Right, call him if he starts singing. <laughs> Uh, yes, is this Jeffrey? Yeah, this is Greg Montgomery. We we just spoke. Oh, yes, the gentleman who had to take an urgent call from the Beatles. <laughs> How can I help you, Mr. Montgomery? I just wanted to uh, let you know we're running a little late, and uh, I just wanted to be sure you'd hold the room. Uh, Mr. Montgomery, you don't have a room. What do you mean? Well, even a sloppy operation like ours requires a confirmed reservation. Without one, we were compelled to give your room away. But I have a confirmed reservation. I gave you my credit card number. No, I believe you're in the middle of giving your credit card number. When Neil Diamond phoned. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. I'm sure you've got another room in the place somewhere. It's Jeff Ray. <laughs> now, let's see. You gave me a partial credit card number. Why don't I reciprocate with a partial ocean view? <laughs> That'll be fine. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll be there later tonight. 
We'll leave a latch on for you. <laughs> it's funny. I've got everything a man could ask for, and yet I feel this hole inside, this emptiness. Go on. And nobody really knows because I hide behind this big, happy face. <laughs> hey, L Lyle, um, can, I, can I get you something to drink? How about a, 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 a tall, frosty one? Sure, that'd be great. You got it, partner. <laughs> Maybe it's physical. Are you getting enough rest? Do you sleep well? Like a bass player. <laughs> hey, 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 this ought to wash the dust off of those spurs. Thank you. Look, I don't want to embarrass you, but I am a huge fan, you know, going way back, like before anybody liked you. <laughs> Thank you. Honey, Lyle has some stuff he wants to talk about, and it's kind of personal. This thing that's bothering you now, you think you'll turn it into one of your songs? Greg, <laughs> could you give us a few minutes? Oh, sure. I have you on vinyl, you know, records. <laughs> He's a big fan. There was a time when the adulation of others was all I needed to get through the night. Well, good morning. It's time for Lyle to love himself. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. I just, um, I, uh, I wanted to show you this. I, I took lessons when I was a kid. <laughs> 